and that is something to remember not only today but the rest of the day as you look at the Mega Bucks starting lineup here for both of these teams we have mentioned no Giannis no Serge no Joe no Chris they start right off with their personality getting Pat Connaughton free for a three-point look gonna let it fly right and Grayson Allen though takes it inside the left-handed layup is good for the first point well, this Bucks team has shown a little bit of a different efficiency scoring wise here at home one of the biggest scoring differentials between home and away, and it's the first bucket for Miles Turner. Ben Matherin gets the bucket with a look to push the pace a little bit. Imperative that the Bucks get back in transition defense. Bobby gets another look, that's out from the corner, and BP for three. Well, and I think those Bud and, and the staff as the Bucks do a nice job collapsing on defense, and but of course, uh, contested three by Hill, who's one of the best in the business. It's unacceptable. This is the coaching Marcus Johnson side. This is, this is afternoon matinee Marcus oh, Johnson. Drew looks it off and immediately gives Jordan Wara a look on the baseline. Those quick hands almost taken away. Grayson retains, finds Jordan Wara for three, and he knocks it down. All he needed to do was step behind the three-point line. Here in this first quarter. And Mark kind of surveying, gives it back out to Ben Matherin. The two rookies connecting, and Matherin, wow, high off the glass against one of the best shot blockers. A great leader in Tyrese Halliburton. He's healthy. Let's get it up and down the floor. Brooke Lopez muscling that in. That was strength and finesse all in one shot. Yeah, that's a, that's a good call. Smith hands it off. Chris Duarte getting in, uh, his first minutes in this first quarter. T.J. McConnell from the corner. It's a green. This is his attempt off the back time. And Duarte steps into that. Knocks down the three-point shot. It is the fourth three-point make here for the Pacers here today. I looked at that and I said, now nah, Rick Carlisle, this kind of talent at his disposal. Nice job. Chance for a four-point play for one Jordan Wara. Jay Green range is expanding. Cuts the lead here to one until there. Alley oop play to Isaiah Jackson. The assist and takes it away. In the final few seconds, TJ McConnell knocks down the three. What a first quarter he had. Just when you thought that the Bucks were building momentum, and then that guy went to work. McConnell flipping it up. Bunch of people out there have no idea what I'm talking about, too. The Giant creating off the dribble. I've seen his game grow with little subtleties like that as McConnell takes it inside. There's eight points leading the way here for the Bucks. The 12 points for McConnell make it 14 points for McConnell. Fourth year player, no shaper set with his first two. Out of Syracuse, one of four Canadian born Pacer players. George Hill from the corner. McConnell with the basketball, he's got 15 points, the game's leading scorer, and he feeds Miles Turner, who's got his second three-point game. Catch and shoot, he's <laughs> the outstanding outside shooting, big man that can extend your defense. And McConnell needs a stop. TJ McConnell <laughs> with 18 points. In, in, in that group of outstanding talent with those great Gonzaga teams. There he makes a play there, he, yeah. he pokes it free from behind, and Nimhart gives it up there to heal for the slam dunk. This setup where the captains get to pick their teams. I don't like that though. McConnell has not missed very often here today. Pat Case takes his time with that attempt. Buddy Hill was a little bit slow to get up with that half court defensive possession right down the lane in the slam dunk for Miles Turner. Let's dodge a bullet because Miles Turner sprinted the rim run in the middle of the floor. He was wide open for another dunk if he could have handled the pass. Kirk will step back, does his best true holiday impression, and knocks down the three point shot from the corner. Average of 17 for the season. A career high, he's got 17 in the first half. Where's your step back? <laughs> step back in a true, true move. McConnell, he's tied his career high here in the first half. 12 points for Drew Holiday. And McConnell's got a new career high. Now he gets blocked by Turner and sends it back the other way with possibly a transition look for the Pacers. TJ McConnell just keep working. We talked about the extended minutes and the exertion of energy. 
Clayton Cunnell. Pass with his left hand and finding Andrew Nimhard from the corner. Good defensive possession. You see Coach Bud exhorting his team to speed up the pace themselves. Bobby waiting in the corner. And the Bucks really shot. Grayson Allen again inside. That time it's a floater. And he left it short. Drew Holiday. His, his best big man impression. Getting the offensive rebound. Taking it himself and knocking down the three point shot. Thus, this guy, TJ McCollum, back on the floor. His first appearance here in the second half and immediately finding Miles Turner inside. For that opening for Brook Lopez, a very active zone defense and nice job with the ball moved by the Bucks. Buddy Heal, that's why he has the most three-point makes in the NBA this year. Easy pass, easy finish. And you saw the double team there with Brook Lopez coming over with Drew Holiday, yeah, another yeah. turnover. That's part of the respect, right? That Josh Oppenheimer was saying you got to give McConnell and another three-point make. Drew used every bit of that uh, remaining seconds on the shot clock to, to make that move and get it off. And Drew with a steal. Ten-point advantage for the Pacers. Finds Grayson Allen. Challenge by Turner. And I love the energy and engagement by the players on the bench between Ingles and Middleton and Thanasis. You know he's always there. Mamu. Open three-point look. Trying to distribute here in the third instead. Nine-point edge. We'll give it go. That play has worked. George Hill finishes it off. Good activity. Good movement. His first points of the third quarter. He's got a career-high 27. 25 of them coming in the first half. A cutting to George Hill for two. He taps it over to Drew. On the break, Jordan Wara. Feeding back to Drew Holiday. And Drew's put together a nice game. Held his own with it, allowed him to overpower him down in the post. Bobby pulled down that rebound now, which gives him his 26th double-double of the season. 19 points, 10 rebounds. Drew Holiday from up top. Little crossover, push off the right, step back number. The Connor flips it over. An absolutely wide open O'Shea Brissett. To start off the fourth, Grayson Allen feeding George Hill. Pat Connaughton, Jordan Wara, and Bobby Portis to begin with as Pat gets the first bucket. Second to Van Caro's 24, 20 point game. Yeah, I would definitely say one of the surprise rookies of this draft, just in terms of scoring consistently. Jordan Wara, automatic offense. And he's kind of feeling it a little bit. Now with that three-pointer, he's in double figures off the bat. Jordan Wara, 17 minutes in counting. Grayson Allen, all day, all day. Porters, pump fake, will pass up the shot, finds Grayson. Here's it back on the repost here to Bobby. Back to Grayson, who steps into that. Couple of big three-point makes for Grayson. And Warren defending Nimhart. To Buddy Heel. Oh, Buddy Heel. This young Pacers team challenging the Bucks here on the road. The time Turner took the path of least resistance against Drew Holiday, didn't try and back him down. Drew inside, and now it's a three-point advantage for the Bucks. So Josh gets the credit for that, but then again, Jordan, just in terms of his work that he's put in as the defense. He's not existent. Up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bucks have exploited that area before. Remember George Hill, a couple of back cut layups that time. Rip a little screen and roll. Uh oh. It was a new career high for him. 29 points. TJ McConnell's never gotten to a 30 point game in his NBA career. Step back there for Drew Holiday. We'll take it. it hurt as much. <laughs> I think we could do it. A little delayed reaction <laughs> on your part. Speaking of New Smith. And both coaches super animated to hear down the stretch of this game. Drew's going to ice it. 3 or 25, whatever it is at halftime, it's a joke. Yeah, four points here in the second half. Drew Holiday, a season high. And the Toronto's dream was shattered a little bit here in the second half. Drew Holiday, 35 points, 11.